Number 15, Forehead Photo. Chronix PC posted a scary Fortnite story on Reddit recently as a spine tingling reminder that someone is always watching. His crazy story begins when he jumped on his computer first thing in the morning and saw that his webcam was on. Fortnite and Firefox were the only things open, and he'd only been watching YouTube and Firefox. So something seemed a bit off about this. After tilting his webcam up to ensure he was no longer being recorded, he downloaded a program which identified the processes that were using the webcam. What he found was chilling. A process called NCAPS blah 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 by NVIDIA was controlling his webcam, and he had no idea what the software was. He killed the process and shut down the cam, but it wasn't over. In his own words, I proceeded to browse the web as per usual for a couple hours, then I switched to the Fortnite tab, and there in the bottom right corner of the screen was a picture of my forehead taken hours earlier. Chronix PC said it was sunny in the pic, so he knew it had been taken earlier in the day. He said he could only see the pic in Fortnite, and he was seeking an explanation from the Reddit community because he was legitimately worried about the whole incident. Redditor Jack's Plays suggested it was dark web hackers making an attempt to track him down. And when Chronix PC asked why they'd embedded a picture of his forehead into Fortnite, Jack's Plays suggested it was a scare tactic, but he should probably run a virus scan, whatever the true nature of this forehead photo. I'd cover that camera as soon as possible. Number 14. Singing Girl Queen Grudge submitted this inquiry to the Epic Games forum about a singing girl in the woods. In her post, she wrote, I was playing a couple of nights ago, and I heard a girl singing in the woods. In Stonewood, it was super creepy. The sound seemed directional, hinting that it was a physical in-world thing. However, when I tried to follow it, she began laughing and it kept changing direction. Queen Grudge said when it started to get dark, she stopped looking and the singing girl began crying. She asked the forum community if it was a simple sound effect or an in-game secret. While no one knew for sure, it turned out that the singing had been caught on tape. Devin C had also heard it and experimented with distance in relation to the sound. He thought that the singing's volume corresponded to his location, however he couldn't confirm that and didn't have any theory as to what the sound was or from whom it was coming. That being said, like everyone on the thread, it gave him chills. Does anyone out there have an explanation? Number 13. Grooming there's nothing scarier than the unknown of the internet, except perhaps knowing that a creep on the other end of the game is out to get your child. One horrified mom issued a warning to others who allow their young kids to play Fortnite online over Xbox. When her son Tyler was playing, she heard a parent's worst nightmare on the opposite end of the in-game chat feature. Tessa was sitting right next to her son on the sofa while he was playing the game. When, from out of the television speakers, she heard an adult man's giggles. Then she heard a voice, which spoke the name Danny, a pseudonym she'd created for her son's account. While the man started out innocent enough, encouraging Danny to put on his headset, the conversation quickly took a more sinister turn. Tessa's blood chilled as she heard this stranger grooming her child online. She turned the game off, muted the console, and her autistic son did not recover from the incident quickly. The boy didn't want to sleep alone for weeks, and he worried that the gamer knew where he lived. This incident isn't isolated. Another UK mom said she felt sick to her stomach when she heard a man online requesting photos from her 12-year-old son. He offered to pay the boy 50 pounds for these requests. The mom was in the next bedroom when she heard the conversation and raced into the room to record the predator. The man had requested to be added under a strange username and believing the user was a friend of his, the boy added him. After the incident, 
he was so shaken that he no longer wanted to play on Xbox Live. Number 12. Hackers. Caffeinated Owl 9 provided Fortniteers on Reddit a PSA about potentially being hacked, which seems to be all too common in the Fortnite community. The OP had been playing Fortnite for a week when he found on a subreddit that another Fortniteers account had been hacked, along with their payment method, which was linked to their account. The person had advice to play it safe and turn on a two-factor authentication to log in. He also suggested to unlink payment options between purchases. Other Fortniteers had commented in the original post that this was a regular occurrence with Fortnite. Because of this warning, Caffeinated Owl 9 turned on the two-factor authentication. What happened next was terrifying. In his own words, Today I woke up to 79 emails, one almost every 5 minutes from 6am to 10am, with my requested two-factor authentication code from several different IP addresses all in Vietnam. Apparently someone had immediately tried to hack this individual, and this two-factor identification may have been the only thing between safety and a stolen identity. Still, the Redditor wondered how in the world these hackers knew his username and password especially since he'd only been playing for a week. He also noted that the hacker was persistent and had made more than 50 attempts to log into his account. So, PSA to all Fortniteers out there, you can never be too careful with your personal information on the internet. Use two-factor identification wherever you can. Number 11. Ambush Have you ever been ambushed? Sparky Snow has and this redditor submitted this frightening video of the ambush under the title, I didn't know Fortnite was a horror game. In the video, Sparky is running through the grass up a mountain, when all of a sudden, some person tries to do a jump attack from behind a bush. Luckily, Sparky prevails, but most redditors think it was lucky that the person who tried to sneak attack was not a good shot. Well, some offer tactic suggestions, Others like GT Hatch 2 noted what terrible bush play that was, but it was Redditor Rage Inducer who summed the whole thing up perfectly, writing, He waited for what he thought was the perfect moment and got destroyed. Redditor Tech Hippie knows just how much horror Fortnite can project. I constantly get scared playing solo, he writes. He even scared himself by accidentally pulling the trigger while running in a circle. We've all been there, Tech Hippie. Number 10. Wailing Woods Lonely Biscuit Eater submitted the terrifying mythical backstory of the Wailing Woods to Reddit. In his own words, it goes something like this. According to legend, a few years back, a squad of four jumped out of the battle bus into Wailing Woods and didn't survive. They made their way to an abandoned shack deep in the woods, and then they were all murdered. The OP claims that even today, players report of hearing gunshots and footsteps in the Wailing Woods, suggesting that the event has made the grounds haunted territory. Another Redditor confirmed that you can indeed hear eerie wails while running through the woods. Could the legend be true? Number 9. Scary Glitch Have you ever run into a scary glitch on Fortnite? like your teammate turning into an animal for no apparent reason. Well, you're not alone. Nomnipotent submitted this clip to Reddit, calling it a scary glitch on Fortnite. In the video, after he's cleared an area surrounding an abandoned home, he races inside and tells his teammates that there's a blue sniper inside for anyone who wants to retrieve it. Sure enough, one of his own teammates comes racing inside in the form of a dog. At least, he looks like a dog from afar. But when he approaches closer, he's a man on all fours. The glitch was creepy and comedic at the same time. Well, this is more entertaining than horrifying. You gotta admit that your teammate turning into a dog is a somewhat disturbing visual. Number 8. House Fire Sun Devil's IG submitted the following epic tale under the equally epic title, Fortnite Save My Apartment From Burning Down. The OP begins his story, explaining that his Fortnite habit has made his bedtime progressively later. Over the past several months, 
whereas he used to go to bed around midnight. Now it's more like 1 in the morning. Two nights prior to this posting, he just wrapped up a game of Fortnite with his friends around his new bedtime at 1 a.m. when he smelt smoke. Searching around his apartment, he couldn't find the source of the smell. There was no fire that he could see. So he ran outside to see if another house in his neighborhood was in trouble, but still couldn't find anything. When he went back inside, smoke was thick and billowing, so he called the fire department who showed up within minutes and broke into the closet wall where his water heater was stored. The outlet and water heater had shorted out, creating an electrical fire within the house's walls. In his own words, I would have potentially slept right through it and my apartment could have burned down. So I just wanted to take the time to thank Epic Games for making such an amazing game that, in a way, saved my life. Why none of these fire alarms had gone off, we can only guess. But the main story is basically a PSA for everyone to check their fire alarms regularly to ensure batteries are alive and the alarm is working properly. Certainly, Epic Games deserves kudos for making all its players get next to no sleep. Number 7. The Slow Clap Whether in the uplifting scene of an old film, or making fun of an uplifting scene in an old film, a slow clap is hardly ever scary unless you hear it ominously in a video game. Steezer submitted this video to Reddit under the title, Probably the Scariest Thing That Has Happened To Me In Fortnite. In the video, you can hear what sounds like someone slow clapping. And sure enough, when the slow clapper in question busts through the door with his creepy blank nutcracker face, he's slow clapping like there's no tomorrow. That is, until he starts shooting and busts him over the head repeatedly with an oversized hammer. Call me trash, Steezer wrote, but there's just something about not messing with someone who is outside slow clapping like that. In this game, the slow clap definitely leads to some creepy vibes that make Steezer's mindset completely understandable. Number 6. Jump Shot When Spurn Whale was telling a freaky story of his first summit mountain while playing Fortnite, little did he know that the game would freak him out again in the midst of his tale. Spurn Whale told the story of when he dropped his controller while playing. All the while playing the game, running and jumping all over hills and mountains, while explaining what happened to him on that occasion, an opponent jumped out at him, ready for a gunfight, scaring him again. Luckily, he didn't drop his controller this time. Apparently, he wasn't the only one ironically freaked out by his story. Redditor Scumbagsonality chimed in. Super freaky story, mate. I was starting to get chills. To which Spurn Whale replied, Oh man, I know. When I was telling my friends around the campfire, they all couldn't sleep for the rest of the trip. I have to say the jump shot was a bit scarier than the actual story, but maybe you just had to be there. Number 5. Creepy Laughter Superwit127 asks for Reddit's help in the post title, Why am I hearing creepy laughs? According to the OP, the creepy laughter in Tomato Town is scaring him to his wits. Redditors had many different suggestions as to where this creepy laughter was coming from. Spooky52Me suggested it was demons. Rai Rory and many others suggested it was gnomes from Battle Pass. But the Nev had perhaps the most succinct suggestion. You're going insane, he wrote. Aren't we all? and it appears like the mystery is going to remain unsolved for the time being. It's certainly beginning to appear like Fortnite has some creepy easter eggs. Number 4. Fort Nightmare What happens when you play video games for too long? You start to live and dream them. That's what happened to Pfeiffer, as he posted on Reddit about the Fortnite nightmare he had. Pfeiffer wrote, I thought I'd share my Fortnite dream slash nightmare from last night while it's fresh in my mind and before my rationale kicks in and I ask myself why the heck I'm sharing my dreams online. What happened in this dream? The OP said it was daytime and he was gazing towards the horizon in Dusty Depot when he spotted a figure in Black Knight skin approaching, noting that the figure didn't have a shield. 
he thought killing him off would be a piece of cake, so he started unloading rounds, using his scar, but it wasn't so simple. The Black Knight continued approaching, despite the fact that the OP had unloaded about 100 rounds of ammo. He wondered why the knight was still alive. At some point, the knight even mounted a horse and began to ride, coming closer and closer. The OP switched to a shotgun and leveled the knight twice, but even that didn't do it. And then, the kill shot. Only it wasn't the knight that ended up dead, it was the OP. With one shot, he was a goner, five for vented, wondering why the knight hadn't died, and the knight somehow heard him and answered that he hadn't hit him enough. While it was just a nightmare, it certainly seemed terrifying. The OP admitted, I guess I've been playing so much Fortnite that even my subconscious is trying to unravel it all. Number three, turn around. Nobody likes getting snuck up on. Night 4 Legend submitted this Fortnite video to Reddit. In the video, the OP angles up towards the door as footsteps are heard. Assumingly, he thinks someone is approaching on the other side, but when the footsteps stop, the OP turns around to find the person standing directly behind him. He then panic jumps and a shootout with the sneaker ensues, with the OP taking the kill shot. While many Redditors appreciated the panic jump, and noted that Night 4 Legend most certainly would have been killed if he hadn't turned around. Others saw the other guy's tactic as an attempt at camaraderie, meaning that individual actually meant no harm. I guess there was no way to tell for sure. Number 2. Cheat Sheet Warning, when you cheat at Fortnite, Epic will come after you. That's what happened to two alleged cheaters when, in Epic's own words, the pair infringed Epic's copyrights by injecting unauthorized computer code into the copyright protected code. The two allegedly worked as support personnel for a site called Addicted Cheats, and they stand accused of utilizing Ambit software with the deliberate intention of ruining the game for other players and players who watch streamers. Many gamers use cheat sites, so what's the issue? Well, when Epic Games requested that the defendant take down a YouTube video that demonstrated how to use the cheats, the 14-year-old defendant in the case filed a counterclaim to the notice, so Epic had one of two choices, either sue or withdraw the DMCA takedown request. Epic is not okay with ongoing cheating or copyright infringement from anyone at any age, the developer said in a statement. As stated previously, we take cheating seriously and will pursue all available options to make sure our games are fun, fair, and competitive for players. While being sued at just 14 years old is scary enough, your mom getting involved is even scarier. The defendant's mother claimed her son was being used as a scapegoat, issuing a letter to the court which noted that her son did not, in fact, produce any cheat code to modify the claim. As prosecution was claiming, she said that parental consent is required by Fortnite if the user is a minor and she never gave it. She also wrote that the cheats her son used were pre-existing, that they'd been live streamed by other individuals before him, and moreover her son didn't profit from his live stream. Epic Games had claimed massive profit loss, which she said was illegitimate because users can play Fortnite for free. And lastly, she noted that although her son was a minor, his identity was publicly released, which is illegal. She requested that the district judge dismiss the case because his actions did not warrant being sued by Epic Games. Although a $5,000 settlement was reached in the case against the other defendant, this one is yet to be resolved. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YT underscore chills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number one, the comet. 
What is that thing in the sky of Fortnite Battle Royale? Some think it's a comet, one that's growing bigger and bigger, coming closer and closer with each passing day. The unidentified celestial body was discreetly placed in the Fortnite sky recently, after which it started to grow, and of course, as with any gaming mystery, theories grew with it. The Fortnite Battle Royale subreddit is chock full of them, with some saying it's an easter egg. King Zypher 73 posted his theory, saying, Guys, this is gonna be a meteor shower within April 15th to 20th, so maybe Epic Games wanted to have some fun and gave that event as an easter egg in Fortnite, but others think it's a meteor, headed towards the tilted towers. Redditor Nico Razi posted a screenshot several days prior to the 3.4 update, after which the object in the sky was captured growing bigger and clearer. Writer Connor Sheridan notes, What was once a bright blob, now has a crescent shape on the bottom right and a wider aura on the top left, suggesting a leading edge and following trail respectively. The trail is subtly animated in-game as well, making it even more comedy. Moreover, Nico Razi noticed that the most recent challenges involve climbing mountain summits that now have telescopes mounted on them. Those in the business of video games know this tactic as signposting. Signposting is when developers place objects into the gaming world that indicate that there's something hidden in plain sight. While some think the comic may be apocalyptic, others think that the map will be altered by this crashing comet corresponding to Season 4's Fortnite, which will soon be released. I guess we will just have to wait and see. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!